The NFL season has just started, and today we're going to use Madden 25 to simulate the season to determine how it's going to play out. All right, so we're going to take over the Bears. We're going to set everything to auto, and then at the end of the day, we're just going to simulate the season, let it play out how it plays out, and let's see what happens. All right, so at the midway point, let's take a look at the league. Take a look at the standings at the midway point here. The Dolphins are 6-0 in the AFC. Them and the Texans are both leading the AFC undefeated. Chiefs are 5-1. The Jets are 5-2. The Jaguars, Raiders, also 5-2, and, and the Chargers are 4 Four and two. So that's the playoffs right now. So the Ravens aren't in it. Neither is Joe Burrow and the Bengals. Kind of an interesting playoff. And Josh Allen and the Bills are two and five. Oh my God. In the NFC, the Buccaneers, kind of shocking to see them up here. Cowboys, the Falcons with Kirk Cousins. And then the Vikings, Bears, Seahawks, and Niners are all four and three. So are the Packers. So those are the teams all vying for those final couple playoff spots. They have the Lions and Eagles here at three apiece. The NFC is a little more in tune with what we expected. Maybe the Eagles being this low, kind of a shock. The Bears being this high. Maybe even the Falcons being this high, a little bit of a shock. But, I mean, at the end of the day, this is kind of exactly what we expected. Take a look at Caleb Williams, 30th in the league in passing yards, 31st in offense. So the Bears are not moving the ball really well, but they defensively are playing really well. Taking a look at team stats, Buccaneers lead the league in offense. Worst offensive team is us and the Chargers. Golly, bro. 2,000 yards of total off. Not even 1,800 yards of total offense in six games. It's less than 300 yards a game. Points per game, we're not. The Bears are not. A, they're like a middle-of-the-pack team. So they're playing okay. Defensively, how we're playing. The bit, wow. Defensively, this Bears defense is incredible wow the number one defense in the league by a mile 10 picks through six games holy shit that's a lot two fumbles i mean no fumbles only six sacks as well so this is a very very much a bend don't break defense for the bears um however this isn't a bears thing we're gonna focus on the defense the cowboys leading the league in defense is not something i expected i'll be honest it's not something i expected neither or have the dolphins up here as well so this is kind of an interesting i don't even know how i'd phrase it interesting season so far take a look and see if there's any trades or anything that happened jaguars re released eli Apple. Well, that's fucking hilarious. Eagles released Nicobe Dean. Wow, I did see him get traded, or excuse me, signed by the Patriots, but damn. Damn, the Jaguars signed Eli Apple and cut his ass a week later. That's so funny. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket here. The one-seeded Minnesota Vikings. What the? The two-seeded Niners make sense. The three-seed Falcons, someone had to win the South. Four-seeded Eagles. Five-seeded Packers. Six-seeded Bears. Seeded Cowboys. Wow. On the AFC side, the Texans get the one-seed. Two-seed goes to the Chiefs. Three-seed Ravens. Four-seeded Dolphins. Five-seed Raiders. Wow. Definitely not a team I expect to see here. 60 Jaguars, again, should have made the playoffs last year. And then the seven seeded Jets. Wow, so this is definitely not what I expected. Let's take a look at the standings. In the AFC, the Texans go 14 and 3. We, they have three different 13 and 4 teams win the division at 13 and 4 Chiefs, Ravens, and Dolphins. And then the three other teams to make the playoffs are all 11 and 6 in the Jaguars, Jets, and Raiders. I'll say this that is a hell of a playoff. Bengals not making it at 9 and 8, kind of shocking. Not shocking that they didn't make it at 9 and 8. Shocking they went 9 and 8 in the first place. Bills going 5 and 12 is actually crazy. I did not expect to see them down here. But if the AFC is this good, that means the NFC has to be mid as shit. No, wow. I'm shocked. I guess there's just a lot of fun ass teams. Vikings and the Niners each go 13 and 4, but the Vikings must have had the tiebreaker. Falcons, Eagles, and Packers go 11 and 6. Bears and Cowboys go 10 and 7. Commies going 9 and 8. Kind of shocking. Didn't expect this. They must have had a great season from Jalen Daniels. Buccaneers falling all the way to 8 and 9. That kind of stings. Lions going 6 and 11. Same with the Rams. Definitely did not expect that. Let's take a look at the stats and awards for this year. Caleb Lim Wow, this Bears offense was terrible. 25th in offense. Defense, 10th. Yeah, I mean, take a look at the stats. Just team wise. Chiefs, yes. 7,000 yards of offense, averaged 30 points a game. I mean, what more can you ask for? Who's the worst team? We weren't in a top, bottom five offense anymore. We're what? What is that? Eight? Nine? Yeah, eight. So, I mean, hey, 257 first downs, not the worst. Defensively, the Dolphins were the best team in the league. I did not expect that. And our defense kind of fell off. We fell all the way to, what is that, like a 12? Did have 20, 23 interceptions. Second in the league behind the Dolphins. Yeah, they're the best team in the league. We only had 11 sacks as a team. Oh my God, almost easily the worst. And we didn't force a single fumble. Or we didn't recover a single fumble. Points loud yeah we were what they were 10th in the league in points loud wow this was the most bend don't break defense i've ever seen taking a look at the yearly awards who wins mvp mahomes yeah no shit damn so mahomes wins another mvp coach of the year goes to domingo ryan's that makes sense i mean he, if he leads the texans to a one seed easily deserves coach of the year afc offensive player of the year goes to racy rice wow gpoi goes to jalen ramsey okay offensive rookie of the year drake may defensive rookie of the year junior colston from the chargers okay best qb mahomes no shocker running back joe mixon that would be huge for my fantasy team that'd be sick best 
best wide receiver, Rishi Rice. Oh, Lyman, Creed Humphrey, he got a nice contract in this game. Mason, excuse me, Max Crosby gets best D lineman on the Raiders, of course. Best linebacker goes to Bradley Chubb, okay. Best DB, to, obviously, Jalen Ramsey. And best kicker goes to Justin Tucker. No shock. To the NFC, offensive player of the year goes to Cooper Cup. This team went 6 and 11, and Cooper Cup still did that. Awesome. Because he's in my fantasy team, too. It'd be sick if he could go crazy. Kaiser White, defensive player of the year. Love to see that from the Cardinals, even though I think they went 6 and 11, too. Offensive rookie of the year, Caleb Williams. We love to see that. Defensive rookie of the year, uh, Braden Fiske. Not someone I'm too familiar with, but. Obviously promising for the Rams. Best QB, Jordan Love. Boo, we don't like that. Best running back, the cover athlete himself, no shit. Best wide receiver goes to Cup. Best O-lineman goes to Jake Brendel. d to Demarcus Lawrence. Wow, kind of shocked to see him there. Michael Parsons, best linebacker, no stop. Best linebacker, Michael Parsons, no doubt. Best DB, Kirby Joseph, okay. Not a name I expected to see here. Best kicker goes to Joey Sly, okay, yeah, you. Oh, but it's cool to see Kyle Santos here, second. We like that. Kind of an interesting season. Gonna see if we can look at individual stats by the by the, in the NFL. Obviously, team-wise, Mahomes, Dak, Matt. Stafford for the Rams to be six and eleven, but Matt Stafford threw for this many yards. That's pretty impressive. Tua 4,200. Jared Goff again. Lions went six and eleven, and he had 4,200 yards. Wow. Rushing yards. Joe Mixon. Najee Harris with a bounce back year. Oh my God. But also 18 touchdowns for Joe Mixon. 19 for Derrick Henry. Only five for Aaron Jones, but he had 1,200 rush, rushing yards. That's crazy. Josh Jacobs with 1,200. Caffrey with 1,212 touchdowns. Kenneth Walker with 1,200. Yeah, I mean, hell of a season. 1,800 receiving yards for Cooper Cup. Monroe with 15. Yeah. Racy Wright. 1200 yards and 27 receiving touchdowns holy shit wait a minute patrick mahomes had 54 touchdowns 54 touchdowns crazy year right half of them were to racy rice holy shit he had legitimately as many as everybody else on the team that's unreal i gotta find the chiefs alone that's crazy 11 to kelsey with the, well 1100 yards that's a great year marquise brown almost a thousand yards and eight touchdowns he's gone but that's funny as hell 700 yards five touchdowns pacheco mccall hardman this is a ridiculous stat line holy shit Defensively, Cody Barton, Lid League and Tangles, 134. Sacks. Max Crosby, 21 and a half. Holy shit. Bradley Chubb, 18. Cameron Hayward, 17. Rousseau with 15 and a half. Interceptions. Jalen, yeah, Jalen Ramsey, 12 picks. Had a bunch of guys with seven. Sauce Gardner, Kirby Joseph, Cam Taylor Britt. Because you're white, no wonder. Tredavious White. Most, most forced fumbles was Foy Sadaluakon, Blake Cashman, and Devin White. And with that, we're going to, you know, we're not going to play this game. Maybe we'll play the moments. Maybe. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just let it happen. But this is a very interesting game. I did not expect this. We're going to be playing the Falcons. We're going to sim the rest of the playoff games. But I just want to see in this. I'm not going to play any of this. I might. Fuck it. Maybe the Bears win the Super Bowl this year. Who knows? The Bears down 10-7 in the first half. The Falcons, oh wow, they don't get some points there. This is a very defensive game. Yeah, the Falcons are gonna break through, yeah. Can the Bears, oh my God, they fumbled it. No, and the Bears are gonna lose, yeah. If we get the onside kick, that's crazy. Okay, so the Falcons are gonna take down the Bears. Hey, if Caleb Williams makes the wild card in his first season, that is nothing short of a successful season for the Bears. For the Falcons, you kind of have expectations now that you have Kirk Cousins. Uh, Caleb Williams didn't play bad, two touchdowns, 260. Um, did have an interception, don't like to see that. Running, rushing wise, was there a fumble? Yeah, DeAndre Swift, ooh, don't like to see that. That's that fumble was a killer. So looking at the playoff bracket, we actually actually simmed all the way to the conference championship game. The Niners take on the Cowboys. The Packers upset the Eagles. And then the Packers going upset the division rival Vikings. Falcons upset the Niners. Falcons, Packers, NFC championship game in, in on the AFC side. Chiefs take down the Jets. Ravens take down the Jaguars. Dolphins take down the Raiders. And the Dolphins upset the Texans. And then the Ravens finally take the down Goliath in the Chiefs. So we get a 3-4 on this side, a 3-5 on this side. This would be a hell of a series. This would be some great championship football. Let's take a look at the bracket. The Falcons take down the Packers to advance to the Super Bowl. And the Ravens take down Miami. So we get two, three seeds. The Falcons versus the Ravens. A battle of the birds. Wow. Falcons, Ravens. Definitely not the teams I expected to see in this. Maybe the Ravens, but definitely not the Falcons. Let's see who wins the Super Bowl. And the Ravens take down the Falcons in the Super Bowl. Odafe Owe wins Super Bowl MVP. Wow. Patrick Mahomes wins the MVP. Wow. I'm going to take a look at the Super Bowl game because I did not expect Odafe Owe to win MVP. Let's take a look at the player stats for this game. Lamar Jackson. Wow. This was a defensive battle. Holy smokes. This t this game was ugly. Only one offensive passing touchdown. Derrick Henry had two touchdowns on 103 yards. Keaton Mitchell had a touchdown 24 yards. Lamar Jackson, 36 yards. Nothing through the air. Defense. Let's take a look at this. Odafe Owe, five tackles attack, TFL, two sacks. Wow. The fact that Odafe Owe just won Super Bowl MVP with two sacks and five tackles is actually criminal. That's crazy. This is going to be a weird season if it turns out anything like this. At the end of the day, this was crazy. We also have Russell Wilson retiring, Cam Jordan, Aaron Rodgers. Wow. Okay. I mean, hey. If the season is anything like this, we're going to be in for a hell of a season, especially if you're a Ravens fan and, or if you're an Odafe Owe fan. Um, and yeah, I did this for college football. wanted to do it for Madden. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to like, comment down below what you want to see me do next, subscribe. And YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. Find out if they're right.